You know what? GNOME 42 has a sleek new minimalist terminal application called, well, console. And in this video, I'll show you the features of this new console and how different it is from the older GNOME terminal. Hey folks, I'm Abhishek from itsports.com, your favorite website for everything on Linux desktop. So I have been using Ubuntu 22.04 for over a month now. Ubuntu 22.04 features GNOME 42 desktop, but it hides something from you. A new terminal emulator. It doesn't come pre-installed, at least in Ubuntu, but you can find it in the repositories. More details on that in the description. For now, let's have a look at it. The goal of this new application is to provide a simple, user-friendly terminal emulator. And it is indeed a simple application in terms that it doesn't offer many features you are accustomed to in the older application GNOME Terminal. I'll come back to that point later. Let's first see what's new in this GNOME console. The new GNOME console has this handy feature that sends a desktop notification when a long running command finishes its execution. Getting notified of command completion helps you stay productive when you are distracted by reading all the latest Linux related news on its boss news. GNOME Terminal in Ubuntu never had this feature, though I have seen it in distributions like Elementary and Fedora. The next feature is my favorite. This is probably something unique and I haven't seen in any other terminal application. But then I haven't used too many of them. The application window turns red when you use a command with sudo or switch to root user. I presume the idea here is to warn the users that they are using escalated privileges and hence be careful while running the commands. Similarly, if you connect to a remote server using SSH, the terminal application window color changes to purple. This is also a good way to alert the user that the commands are being run on the remote Linux machine, not on the local one. If you open multiple tabs, you can see little icons that tells you that a particular tab is run in SSH or by a root user or a normal user. Console has more nifty features to make it user friendly. Take the next feature for example. The older GNOME terminal shows a warning when you try to close it with commands still running. This warning is slightly better in the new GNOME console as it also displays the running commands. If you have multiple tabs running multiple commands, it shows them all and then it's easier for you to determine if you want to close the terminal along with the running commands or not. I have also seen warnings when I tried copy pasting commands with sudo into the terminal. It doesn't appear all the time though. Perhaps console got the feeling that I don't pay attention to its warning. Let's take a look at what else it has. You can see the interface is slightly different and it has transparent background. If you go full screen, it is no longer transparent. You got the tabs here. You can search for the text in the screen output. Console follows the new design guideline from GNOME. It has three theme variants. The default goes with the system theme. If you use the dark system theme, the terminal also uses dark theme. If you switch theme to light, console also changes to light theme. You can force the application to always use dark or light theme irrespective of the system theme by opting for the light or the dark theme. What else it has? Basically, that's about it. The new console doesn't offer much on the customization side. In fact, there is virtually no scope of customization here. In the older terminal, you 
can create profiles and have different kinds of customization from the fonts to colors and whatnot. But nothing of that sort is an option in the new one. The focus here is on giving you the user a simple user friendly terminal application. And I think it does a fine job for a minimalist setup. For people who seldom use the terminal, console is sufficient. Although they should have added the feature to show asterisk while typing passwords. Beginner focused distros like Linux Mint use it to avoid confusing new Linux users. So why reinvent the wheel? Why a new terminal application when we already have a better and more featureful GNOME terminal. It's because GNOME has a new design guideline. Transforming the old code base of those applications is too complicated and probably not worth the effort. Writing from scratch is easier and hence you see more new GNOME applications like console and text editor. Probably we will have more new variants of the other GNOME application in the future. For now, do you like the new GNOME console or you still prefer the old GNOME terminal? Leave a comment and join the discussion. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.